Oh, oh, he's got me! He's got me! <laughs> get, get him out! Uh, my banana! Someone find me this monkey. I'm putting, I'm putting a, a 500 peso bounty on him right now. What is up you guys, Digital Next, and today we're back with no other than the Simp King himself, Big Ed. We're on the second part. Is this gonna turn into a trilogy? You know, we, we should probably start naming this something. The Phantom Simp, Return of the Simp, The Simp Strikes Back. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Since I met Rose, I, I wanna look young for her. So I have been dyeing my hair my guy, okay, I, I get you. You want to look good for your girl, man. You want to look the best. You want to, you want to swab it up, you know? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, you want to look good. That's fine. Rose is such a. I, I've, I, we've seen Rose so far. We know what Rose is like. We know that Rose is real because I think in the last video I did, he met Rose. I haven't really been watching too much of the show. Like, it's actually pretty good. I don't normally watch 90 Day Fiance, but this season or this season, this. This guy, he's actually really entertaining. I want to see him succeed, you know? I want to see him go all the way. I want that happily ever after for him. I can understand that you want to look good for your girl, but for some reason, I saw him uh, taking a spatula full of mayonnaise. And like I said, I haven't seen any of these videos, so I have no idea what he's going to do with it. I'm self-conscious of my physical appearance because Rose is 31 years younger than me. I smell like an egg salad sandwich nice not only do you smell like an egg you look like one too you got egg on your face my guy what are you doing with mayonnaise in your hair you don't need a diet dude people girls love that salt and pepper rock your natural color maybe you know you probably don't even have gray hair just go out with your natural hair you over here putting mayonnaise and stuff you might as well just go up to rose and rose you ready to eat fresh mm. how you like your buns girl toasted <laughs> hello how are you Nice to meet you. Maria. Uh, Very nice to meet you. Okay, all right. So this is him, I think, where, where are they? They're in the Philippines, right? Okay, so I think this is him in the Philippines. This is Rose's sister. She asked him for money, and Rose don't know. They were they over here running a successful shoe shop. Mantak, show, show, show the sister's face right here. In this frame that I have frozen, show her face. She already judging. That's the look of judgment right there. You see her eyes? Mm. Mm. She already grading you on a one through 10. If you have a neck, that's like two points. Depends on how many hands your neck is. Mine's like one, two, two points. Two point neck. My, my five head, five points right there. I'm already at a seven. I'm happy with that. My braces knocked me down like a three points. Ngayon nakita ko si Ed ng personal, mas maliit siya sa akin. Saka yung medyo mataba nga siya. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it again. What's being a little chunky got to do with anything, man? I'm a little chunky. It all count. He may be small, but his heart, his his cortisone, that's bigger than life. That's bigger than any heart I've ever seen. Don't listen to her, Ed. Don't pay attention to her. She's like, mm, he's he's small and small and fat. All right. Remember who was asking you for money not too long ago, right? When she needs that, when she needs that money again, you're gonna be the knight in shining armor. You look like Ryan Gosling to her. That's when you look at her and you're like, what? <laughs> what do you think of my home? What do you um, think? Well. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, nice home. Thank you for inviting me into your home. I really do appreciate it. it. You have an awesome home here. I've never been in a house that has a shop out front. That is probably like the coolest thing ever to me. That is what you say. That is how you lie your way out of that situation. You don't just go into someone's home and be like, did you just barely start learning how to play Minecraft? Okay. See, that's how, that's how you. <laughs> I'm quick on the spot, man. I know exactly what to say. Give me out that situation. I'd be like, you know, Rose, this is a really nice home. I really like that the DVDs are curtains. That's pretty cool. You have some of my favorite movies on there. Like I said earlier, it's cool that your house is like a shop. I've always wanted to stay in one of those. That's awesome. That probably makes the commute from home to work so much easier. Boom! Do you see that? Do you see how smooth that is? Rose would be like, oh, it. I'm falling in love with you all over again. Why did I make her Russian? She's not Russian. I guess I can't do a Filipino accent that well. Can I have a kiss? Oh, I don't know, baby, it's hurt. Um, don't be mad at me, but um, last night when I noticed that 
your legs were kind of like mine. Got him. You get her, Ed. Oh, you don't like it when my beard scratches you? I don't like it when your legs scratch me, you cactus. You see my beard? That's a manly beard. I gotta keep that. Maybe your face is itchy. Scratch it on my beard. That's what it's there for. It's like a little scratching post. What? Yeah. So, I'll make you a deal. If you shave your legs, I'll shave my beard. Why? They shave my legs. What? Let me get this straight. She wants you to shave your beard. I'm just, I'm, okay, let, let me, let me big brain here. I'm assuming she just doesn't want to kiss him at all. That's just the thing. The beard's an excuse. But if you're gonna make someone do something, you're like, uh, shave your beard. And they come back and be like, well, shave your, shave your legs, you Sasquatch. Then you should probably, like, there needs to be some compromise, man. Now I'm sure, you know, yeah, power to women. We can have hairy legs. Good for you. You want you want to be warm in the summer? Go for it. But if you're gonna be in a relationship, there's gotta be some give and take here. It goes both ways. So it's soft. Your legs will be soft like my skin. Mm. Come on. Mm. Either that or you kiss me. Ah, no, 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 guys. Okay, okay. Okay. I wait for you. Oh, oh, don't don't make such a big scene of it. Oh my God, be like. Rose, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go to that Russian website. At least there, they're a little bit better at pretending to like me. Hi, do you speak English? Does anybody speak English? Oh my God. Pajamas, I think these are pajamas. I've noticed a lot that people like to yell. For some reason, they think that makes them easier to understand. Oh, you don't speak English. Oh, okay, Um, hi, hello. It's like, my guy, I can hear you. I do speak English. You just came at me all the wrong ways. 180 pesos. <laughs> Give me your wallet. You can't just grab from my wallet. <laughs> okay, I want to see how much this is. I don't even, I don't even know how much this is. Nice, did she, you, Rose, or, <laughs> Rode. <laughs> I combine Rose and Ed. <laughs> That's the new power couple name, Rode. Ed! You already got her train. Look at her. She going in your wallet. You, you, you got yourself a keeper there. Okay. I feel like Rose can be awesome. I, I don't know, dude. It's like, like, what do you do in that situation? She's already reaching in your wallet. Like, it's like, come on, girl. You off to a bad start. Eh, let me check my list of things you've already messed up on. Harry legs being up at the top. I have a favor. What the favor? So there's a test that you can take. Yeah, you test me? No. Yeah, a test. It's a. It's a test. I don't know if you understand it. It's um, STD. Oh, oh. So you want her to take a test. I, that can't be easy to ask anyone to take that test. It's like, mm, listen, I'm going to need you to take a test. Not like a handwritten test. You don't need a number two pencil or anything for this test. Um, yeah, I just need you to take this test. No questions asked, okay? And a small excursion to a little island where there's a national park. Look at the big mountain. Wow, I like this. Wow, I've never seen a big mountain before. Thank you for pointing that out, Ed. You wild thornberry over here. <laughs> I, I, what, what else are you supposed to point out? Like, you ever just got with someone like, wow, that's a, that's a, that's a big mountain. You could have been like, wow, the water's so beautiful. Man, look at all these trees. This is absolutely stunning. This is a big mountain. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty big mountain. I've never seen that one. I've never been so close to a big mountain. What's on that thing? I don't know. Oh my God! Here's a monkey. Here's oh. a monkey. There's a little monkey. Did we not just see a sign saying "Don't approach the monkeys"? They clearly don't want to be taken photos of, or they clearly don't want photos taken of them. These monkeys is trying to live their days out on this beautiful island next to that big old mountain. They ain't trying to be bothered. You bring them food or something at least. Hi, little buddy. There's another monkey over there. find me this monkey i'm putting i'm putting a, a 500 peso bounty on him right now i want him here i want him alive so i can have a one-on-one -on -one with him fair and square these weren't the cute monkeys that i was expecting first i was kind of excited but then 
I realized that we were surrounded. <laughs> what do you do at that point? What do you do if you're just surrounded by monkeys, you know? All these monkeys are around you looking at you because they're like, that's right, no neck, Ed. We here, we, we watch TLC too. <laughs> We get Animal Planet! <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that stupid monkey noise. <laughs> so did you bring us some bananas? And they all just they all just sit there in their little monkey circle. Yeah, Ed, where's the bananas? <laughs> Rose didn't seem to be affected by it at all. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Man, they're rude. These are some rude monkeys. Did you see how he just jumped up and grabbed the bananas? What an animal. He could have been like, all the monkey had to do was like, excuse me, Rose, uh, do you mind? I'm gonna go ahead and put up my paw, place the banana in my paw, and I will gladly walk away. That's all I want. I just want the food. Please don't give me the bag. It's gonna get littered. I don't want to litter the environment. Just hand me the banana, and, and we're good to go. He grabbed my banana. Yeah. He jumped on my back and grabbed my banana. But Ed is scared, and he don't want monkey, I know. I think this is funny. He don't want monkey? What do you mean? Were, were you going there to buy one or something? You made it sound like, oh man, my sales pitch for buying one of these monkeys didn't go so well. I guess we're not taking one home. I'm terrified. I'm worried about getting bit or, or scratched. I don't like the monkeys anymore. I don't like them. Be relaxed. So, relax. Relax. They're not gonna, I, what, I, I, you know what, I, I say they're not gonna bite you, but I've seen videos where they can, you know, someone's just casually sitting and the monkey's like, <laughs> just straight up bite someone. I, <laughs> what do you do at that point? <clears throat> bite me? You grab his tail, just. <sighs> I want to go back to the hotel, take a shower, and go to a nice romantic dinner. You happy? Yes, I'm happy. Ed was so done with that, I was like, I just wanna go back to the hotel, wash the stink of some <laughs> monkeys off of me, and have myself a nice dinner. A nice monkey dinner, just to teach them a lesson. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed the Ed saga so far. Maybe there might be more. We'll add some more later on in the future, possibly. Remember to subscribe and to hit that like button to turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.